Hey, good morning, everyone. I'm filming a quick video here for everyone who's uh, purchased the ESChannels.com system and anybody considering it or will who, who will purchase it in the future. There's a few little things I, I want you to watch for. The system works incredibly well, and it has a lot of um, uh, features built into the system that will prevent you from getting in trouble. But there's a couple other things that can happen um, that can can um, cause the system to maybe um, uh, get, cause you to get into trouble due to market uh, market fluctuations, sudden market fluctuations. Overall, uh, the ES and the MES obviously uh, they tend to trade on a more slow. Um, uh, as far as the ups and down movement than, than what the NASDAQ is, considerably slower. But in certain conditions, either due to news uh, or other volatility entering the market, you can get into, in, into trouble in a quick hurry. I trade this on the five minute always, uh, just because I want a nice slow, um, look at the market. It gives me a lot more information to act on. And anytime, the more information you have when trading, um, the more likely your thesis that you have, uh, if it's valid, obviously, will uh, come to fruition. And so I have the, the system up here on, on my chart. It's these green, it's the blue center basis line and then the green, yellow, and red above, green, yellow, and red below. And you can see here, I just picked a random date. We're looking at, uh, what is this, Wednesday, September 24th, and we're starting a couple hours pre-market. And I just want you to observe a couple of things. Under normal conditions, these lines will run parallel to each other, nice and straight, and uh, no, no major slant. This is, these are the conditions we like to trade on. Anytime volatility is introduced, you'll see we can get these little glitches. See how this line kind of bounces up and down? That's as a reaction to volatility and price movement. And these bands will separate out further than, than, than you know, just here you can see how consistent, but you can see here how they separate much wider apart. So this was, okay, this was the market open on Wednesday, the 25th of September, 2024. And so anytime you get the opening candle, this is a five minute chart, remember, you're going to get volatility because there's a lot of orders resting out there and people are excited to start trading and the institutions have to start you know, trading their portfolio and hedging and what other, all the other things they do. So you can see here how this is kind of, this is an up candle, so this reacts accordingly. And then it will settle down, hopefully, as price movement settles down. So you can see here, here, and remember, I'm just going to fast forward here till, uh, what is it, around 11 o'clock. You can see that the market is starting to fall off, okay? Starting to go down a little bit. And you can see how these lines are starting to just come down just a little bit. Now that's not a problem. What I'm talking about is when the environment we don't wanna trade in, when these become really dramatic. And now whether uh, I'm gonna come across, I'm gonna keep going forward to show you some of these different market conditions, what to look for and what to stay away from. So you can see here, price movement starts to, to come down. We're now at uh, one o'clock in the afternoon, and you can see here, this candle here wicks through the green line. Now that would normally trigger a, 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 a buy order in this case, but when we get a candle like this that has this huge down wick where they're just sweeping liquidity, that is not enough to trigger. What we wanna see is something like we see in this red candle right here. Price action is coming down, coming down, and then this candle now drops us below the green line, which triggers. 
Now, remember the 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 uh, mechanical rules for this. Say, once we get a candle that pierces that line, this was just a wick. This is an actual candle body. We enter on the next candle. Okay, so this would be an entry candle right here. We, when we're below the market, we go long. And so what we would do is we would um, enter along, we would buy the market, okay, on this candle here. We would put our take profit up here at the blue basis line, and we would put our stop loss down here at the red line. So at that point, uh, where was our entry? Okay, this is our entry candle. Depending on where we entered, we'd be approximately looking at about a 13 and a half point profit target with about a 20 point uh, stop loss. Okay, so a little under, uh, about one and a half to one approximately. The MES trades at $5 a point. And so what we're looking to achieve is anywhere from 50 to $100 per trade. If we went to max profit on this, we'd be looking at $80, which is right where our, our target uh, profit margin is. So you can see, we enter here, the, I'm just gonna put an arrow there, and then I'm, I'm, just, I'm not gonna go through every trade this detailed after this one. Um, Okay, put right there is where our entry was. Uh, but I, I want to show you some different market conditions that happen. So we get into the trade here. The market starts to reverse. It goes up, but it doesn't quite hit our profit, comes back down. Now, here's another thing to watch for. Let me get a vertical line here. Uh, vertical line. And I'm going to put that at 1700, which is when the market closes in my area. We need to be out of the trade by this time, okay? Otherwise, um, our brokerage or prop firm is going to close at a, that trade for us. So when this starts, I don't know if it hit on this candle. But what we would do is, as we're getting closer and closer to the end of the day, and we saw a candle like that, we would definitely get out. I mean, we're not gonna gonna sit around and risk this thing coming back down or the 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 brokerage closing it out uh, for us. So in this case, say we entered at exactly the green line. Oh, wait, or did it touch right here? No, just about. So we'd get 11 points uh, approximately, depending on where, let's just say 10 points. So we'd end up with a $50 credit for that, okay? And the uh, never, never threatens to go down and hit our stop loss. So now we go into the next trading day. We don't, now here's exactly what I'm, I'm talking about. Now see here how these lines are not horizontal like these are. Look at how this is starting to increase. First of all, we wouldn't be trading this early in the day, but can you see the incline these bar, these, these are taking? We're not going to trade in that environment. Okay. We're just not. It's just too risky for this particular system. This system is all about low risk not high risk, okay? And you can see here what happens here again. This is the market open, and you can see how we are up here. We come down, and now we have the market open. We get a little bit of a glitch, and now things are starting to settle down. So we can start to consider getting into a trade, okay? So here again, we come down. It's now 10 a.m., we come down, this particular candle closes below the market, so we enter on the next candle, which would be this one, stop loss here, take profit here. Trade continues, five minutes on each of these. Now, here, um, 
I've got the wrong thing. Let me go get a, uh, I just want to highlight this area right here. So we entered here on this candle. We've now gone almost an hour into the trade and you can see this particular candle gets within, what is it? Three to four points of uh, that blue basis line. We're already up, because this is the candle, even if we got into the worst position there, we're already up uh, almost 10 points, which would be our $50 take profit. Anytime it gets that close after that period of time, you have the ability to close that trade. You don't have to, but what I'm saying, the longer you stay in this trade <coughs> over, say, an hour, the more likelihood it is is that this market could then re reverse on you. Okay, not saying it always will, but there is a good chance. Now, the market ultimately did get up to this blue basis line and you'd have got a full credit here, but is it worth the risk of waiting uh, another hour and a half, two hours just to make 10 or $20? For me, it's not. You're going to have to determine whether it is for you or not. Okay. So we continue on. There's the end of the trading day, you can see there. So we're now into Thursday, the 26th of September. See how these lines have settled down and we're getting some really nice flat price action, okay? We go in, now we're on the 27th. Nice flat price action. Okay, here there was a news event. We got up, we triggered, and this bar did close it. So we'd enter, market open, would have closed right here for a nice profit. In this case, it would have been, uh, oh, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to call it, it's, it's 9.75 points technically, but, you know, let's just call it 10 points, so $50. And then we came back up, touched it came back down, and then look what happens. The market actually goes down. These are shorts. Remember, when you're up here, you're shorting. When you're down here, you're going long. So it's coming down, touches, enters. We come here, here again. That almost, it comes within, you know, like a point, maybe, yeah, a little over a point. You're taking profit. Uh, there's an old saying, don't be a dick for a tick. I mean, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna risk five dollars to potentially have this go against you? Absolutely not. This system is about making consistent base hits. I'm talking fifty to eighty dollar base hits. And there you got a fifty dollar base hit. And then look at fifteen minutes later, you come back down, you enter on this candle, it's getting near the end of the day, boom, you're out for another fifty dollars, you know? Okay, let's go on to the next day. This is now, well, this is Sunday night now, the 29th of September. There's another thing I want to look for, and I don't know if we're going to get it or not, but let me just keep going here. I'm going to try and speed this up because we're getting a little long. So here's a trade, obviously. Nice trade. Never in any jeopardy. Goes right to profit. We go up. No trade here. We didn't get quite close enough. Okay, here's an example of what I'm talking about that can be a problem. Look at what happens here. We're now on Monday, the 30th of September. I don't remember exactly what was happening uh, on that particular day, if there was news or a, a FOMC or what this was, if Powell was speaking. But look at what happens here at one in the afternoon, okay? Anytime you see price action in one or two candles get at or beyond that first green line, you wait. Because if price is, is, is going at that rapid of rate, 
there is a very high likelihood it's going to continue in that direction, which you'll see in this case, it did. Now, eventually, we would actually won the trade, and we would have never got stopped, stopped out, but it's too risky. Remember, this, this system is about safety, not risk. And so if it gets to this green line in one candle, or like in this case, two candles, sit out the trade. It's not worth it. The other thing here is, we're looking at one o'clock in the afternoon. We're getting much too close to the edge end of the uh, trading day anyway to trade when the market has that kind of volatility. And then look at what it ultimately does. It reverses, which it often does, and goes all the way to the other direction. Okay, so stay away. Not worth the risk. Okay, so now we're on Tuesday the 30th. I'll go a couple more days. Nice straight lines. Um, now, you can see here, I did trade this day and I ended up with a $217 loss. And look at why. Okay, so here's the New York Open. Okay, and what did I say just early? I disobeyed all of my rules and I paid the price. Okay, 200 and some dollar loss. Look what happened here. This is the 8.30 trade in one candle. It was minus 27 points. What I stupidly did is bought here. Well, what do you think happened when you have that kind of momentum? Are we going to reverse instantly? Uh, I don't think so. And sure enough, we continue to go down. And here's what I'm talking about. Look at the lines here, how nice and straight they are. And look at what immediately happens right here at 830. Look at this decline they're, they're making. An indicator is usually uh, slow moving and it's delayed a little bit just by its very nature. There is a delay in the, in the um, way that these these indicators are calculated, there's always going to be a little bit of a delay. Well, in this case, it happened very quickly, this 830 candle, and look at how this thing sloped down. Well, it continued going down. So this candle, what do we say, 26 points? And from here, we went down twice that, another 48 points. So if you got in here, even if you set your stop on that red line here, look what happens to this red line. It continues down with that price action. And so you, I just got shredded, absolutely shredded. And so stay away from that kind of price action. Here again, with this system, we're looking for low risk base hits, slow and steady like a turtle. Okay, now price action did settle down as we got a little later into the day, but it's still, you still want to trade with caution. You can see here, none of these trades got near the red line. Um, technically, let me just see here. Once we got back up here, here's where we closed below. So we would have entered on this particular candle. And we would have been in jeopardy for a lot of the trade. Got it back here above break even. Now we'd be upside down. And then here like an hour, hour and a half. But it would have been very stressful. We would have eventually um, uh, won the trade. And then you can see price action response. So technically, you could take a trade here, which would have won. However, remember, if you take if you enter a trade, because now we're at uh let's see, 12, we're at 1:30 in the afternoon. That would be about uh when I would say 1:30 to 2 o'clock, somewhere in that I would not enter a trade after that, just for fear of closing it out. In this case, it worked out beautifully. You would have got a, a winning trade out of it, but it's, it's still risky, especially based on the price action in the morning. So let's just go one more day. We're now on Wednesday, uh, the 2nd of October. 
nice, nice lines here. And you'll see this is one in the morning. We're actually getting some really nice. And look at how, I mean, these lines here are based on some important levels that institutions trade off of based on the deviation from this basis line. And you can see how very often these lines, now these lines are not painted based on the chart. They're there before this, this happens. They're, they're being printed. And you'll notice how price action got right to the line. So this would have been our entry, you know, maybe an hour, I don't know. Boom, price goes a little above, but then look what happens. It retreats and look at right to the line a couple of wicks through. Boom, so there's one winning trade, two winning trades. Now here, look what's gonna happen here in a second. This was pre-market. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at this now and I'm wondering what's going on. Here is market open. And remember what I said, if price gets to that, now this would have actually been a winning trade very quickly. It's still dangerous because you don't know if this is going to continue on like it did a couple of days prior to this. In this case, it would have been a beautiful trade, but we don't know that, so we can't risk it, okay? We just, not with this system, we just don't. If you do, you're on your own. But just know, keep your, keep your stop loss in place. Now, in this case, the stop loss, because we would have got in somewhere around here, it would have been approximately an $80 risk per contract uh, with a nice reward. So in that case, well, I'm not going to say do it or don't. I'm saying stick to the rules. And so we come back up, we enter a trade here, continues, never gets beyond that second. Look at how it respects these levels. And boom, there's another winner. Gets up, actually touch that line. Now you can decide whether you want to enter on just a touch of a wick or not, but boom, you got another winning trade. So th this system is, it's, 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 if you follow the rules, it's 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 very very a beautiful system. So look at boom, never even gets to the yellow line. Winner, winner quickly, winner quickly. Be aware of these big candles. So here, this would have been a no no because look at we got there in one candle. So technically, it's a no no. Okay, same here. We got there in almost one candle. They're winners, but you know you can go the opposite way. Boom, enter, winner. Boom, ugh, very close. Enter, winner. I mean, it, it, it's a beautiful system. Boom, touch, enter, winner. Not much the rest of the day. It's too late in the day to trade. Okay, so I think you get the gist of it. Okay, and here's an area to stay away. Look at how these lines are getting all garbled. Folks, you don't need to be in every, okay, with this system. If you want to trade price action like this, that's fine. But trade it using a different system. You can trade this on the side of your primary system. This was not designed to be your primary system, even though it can turn into that. If you trade this correctly and are copying over enough accounts, this can turn out to be a primary system with very, look at how it respects these levels. Absolutely insane. It's, it's, it's really a neat system. So here, you know, don't trade this system under these conditions. If you want to go scalp with the AccuTrader or your other systems or price action systems, go ahead, but not this one. Keep this one, follow the mechanical rules overall you're going to be, I have a huge profit factor with this, and you're going to have a lot of winning trades and end up making a lot of money. This was actually, oh, I didn't realize now we were on Friday. Friday was a killer day. Thursday was a killer day for me. This day on Friday, if I wouldn't have been so stupid and took a, a trade when it hit this line at two in the afternoon, broke every rule, and then I, I, I don't know, I... 
It was stupidity. I was up 300 and some dollars at this point. Why I didn't shut it down? I mean, it's Friday afternoon, and I had been getting interrupted all day. I had an appointment with a contractor. I had some other appointments I had to make, phone meetings and stuff. And so then I go ahead and enter a trade here and ended up losing 50 additional dollars that I didn't have to lose. So follow the mechanical rules. It's a winner, okay? There's there's no reason to risk. And here, if you're up 300 bucks, shut it down. I mean, I can tell you that greed is my worst um, flaw when it comes to trading, okay? I, I just, if I'm a winner, I just want more. And it will cause you to do all kinds of stupid stuff. Trust me. Okay, save your money, follow the system, and you'll be uh, very successful. Any of you have any specific questions, just message me. If you want to see me make any specific videos, I am trading this daily. I am recording all of my statistics, all of my entries and exits. And I am trying to post a video daily. If not, I have all the statistics recorded to show anybody that has any questions on specific trades, specific days. Everything is being recorded. So um, the system works. I've tested it over various market conditions. And as I'm doing more testing, I'm, I'm learning... Uh, what to stay away from, what can get you into trouble, and what you want to watch for. So thanks, everyone. I really appreciate all the positive feedback I've been getting. I appreciate negative feedback. Hey, constructive criticism can only make you better. I have very thick skin. I know there's a lot of people uh, in this community, in the, in the uh, futures community, that are very hateful, and that doesn't bother me. Hey, we're all entitled to our own opinion. And I'm always up for a healthy debate. And who knows? Maybe you're right. Maybe you're wrong. But let's talk about it and let's look at it. That's how we learn. Okay. None of us is perfect. None of us will ever be perfect. The market and market conditions are constantly cha uh, changing. I'm hoping that anybody watching the video, we're all here to try and get better and try and extract market or a money from the market, and that's our common goal. And how we achieve that is different for everyone. All of our risk factors is, is an individual basis, how you like to trade. But let's work together and let's achieve something great. Hey, I want everyone, I've had so much, so much uh, blessings in my life, both on a personal level and a financial level. Um, and it's because I never s s sat still and just rested on my laurels, okay? And you shouldn't either. Always be learning. There's always going to be um, different opportunities presented to you. Take advantage of them. So, Coach Chris signing off. I hope this video was helpful to all of you. Bye now.